Hi, I'm Daniela Forshaw from Daniela's Dogs. Just wanted to jump on to talk about ageism when it comes to dogs. And I had a couple of conversations recently and one today, which is what brought me on. I thought I would just start a talking point and put it out there, my thoughts and gain your thoughts as well and experiences on ageism when it comes to getting a dog. Now, rescue centres apparently at the moment are not letting people have dogs if they are over the age of 60 which is really young when you think about it however at what age do you cap somebody being able to have a dog a lot of older people are coming to me mature people well into their 70s and they're saying that they feel that they are too old to have a dog or I think they're being given the impression that they're too old to have a dog and they're kind of getting that stigma where there's this unspoken rule. If they get a puppy, are they going to outlive the puppy? They want to get a rescue dog. Rescue centres aren't allowing people over 60 to have a dog. I've not heard of this before. It seems to be a recent thing. I don't know if it's countrywide. I do speak to people all over the country, but I've never heard of any ages and before with rescue centres. And we're talking about quite well-known, established, large charity organizations we're not just talking about any old rescue centers there's there's registered rescue centers and then there's dodgy ones that trade like traffickers and pose as rescue centers and there are distinct difference between the two although you don't often see it and i guess in one way you know you can get your hands on a dog through ways that aren't legitimate which you don't want to try and support bad people but what what i'm finding is that people are having to resort to going to places that they know they shouldn't be going to in order to get dogs because they just can't get one from rescue centers if they're over 60 and they're applying and they're having problems um i guess that's a subject for the rescue centers really don't know if there are any rescue centers watching this legitimate charity organizations registered charity rescue centers who absolutely don't have any caps on age um perhaps you could comment and and let us know if you if you do um you know look at all different circumstances for allowing dogs to go to go to homes the other thing um that was on my mind was when people are feeling like they're too old to have a dog and they really want one. Some people are so upset through the loss of the dogs they've had over the years. They've owned dogs all their lives and now they're feeling like they're too old to have one. And the thing that I would advise, and this is based on knowing quite a few people now that have died really young, 34, 54, 42, and these people have left packs of dogs behind because they didn't know that they were going to die. You know, things happened, accidents happened, illnesses happened where their life was taken from them. You can't just assume you're going to die in your 70s or 80s or 90s. You can die at 20, you can die at 10, you can die at 30. You know, we all don't know when we're going to die. So there shouldn't really be a stigma on how old you need to be to have a dog. Obviously, you need to be fit to look after yourself and a dog but again that's not really an age thing that's just a circumstance thing and what your circumstances are and what type of dog you take on as well but what i recommend is that anybody of any age not mature people anyone of any age and especially i'm referring to people that i've lost you know friends that i've lost and associates that i've lost that have been young and left packs of dogs behind and it's just get a will just write your dogs into a will so if you are well into your 70s and you want a dog make sure you have somebody that will contract in to take on your dog should something happen to you you might want to leave some money behind with the dog as well for the person to look after and know that you're leaving your dog to somebody that will continue caring for your dog. But don't let age put you off having a dog. It's really traumatic. I think when you're feeling like age is stopping you from getting a dog, I think there's sensible ways of looking into what type of dog you should have. You'll find a lot of rescue centers really let killing machines out 
and people will probably be jumping up and down about oh it's not dog breed specific any dog can be a killing machine it's not size specific it's not breed specific when you see enough of a certain type of breed you actually do have traits in certain breed characteristics and there are different dogs that you're capable of restraining should you need to you shouldn't really be giving a dog to an owner that the owner is not capable of restraining or holding or lifting themselves for many reasons you know a dog could get in trouble you might need to lift the dog and carry the dog to get help but there's so many out of control dogs off lead running up causing problems and they're quite boisterous sometimes quite dangerous and quite threatening dogs you see them on these extendy leads, 10 foot in front of the person. Then you might as well let them off lead if they're 10 foot in front, especially when they're roadside. They could just walk straight out in the road, you know. So many out of control dogs out there. And a lot of these dogs are coming from rescue centres as well. And yet there seems to be a problem with really experienced owners, mature elderly people who have got really good track record of owning dogs, have got all the time in the world to spend with the dog every day they're retired people and they're not being suited to a dog that would suit them and I, I find that quite upsetting really I think it's something that should be discussed and brought to you know the surface of, of discussions in rescue centres and for people that are feeling a little bit like they're pressured into being too old to have a dog you're never too old to have a dog you're never too young to die. So always just think about writing a will, no matter how old you are, so your dog is left to somebody who will care for your dog when you're not here. And um, hopefully, hopefully everybody will be matched to the dogs that they that they truly, you know, need and want.